And uh, what we have behind me here is uh, the, one of the first cars that will be used in the DriveMe project. So what DriveMe gives us is a human-centric approach, understanding what our customers expect from autonomous driving. I think uh, developing an autonomous driving car, we have uh, several challenges. We need to open up the legal framework for autonomous driving. And we can only do that by being showing the fact on how safe this car is. That's one of the most important parts of the DRAMI project. So we want to know what they expect from a self-driving car. Uh, how we can build up trust in the car. And I think that's the key to open up the possibility to do other things in the car in the end. Uh, we have a lot of sensors added on the normal car. We have, for example, the standard uh, radar and camera unit here. Then we have added a radar unit uh, behind the skin at the side. So we have one radar in every corner. In the front, we have one high resolution camera here with uh, cleaning, water jet cleaning. We have one radar here and one laser sensor, also with cleaning. If we go back here at the back of the car, we can see uh, one camera below here. And if we open up here, we have the autonomous driving brain where the processors and logging equipment and uh, this is where the decision and control and all the data from the sensors goes in and uh, we have the software to drive the car. Yeah, uh, we will start with a batch of 25 cars uh, to, for the research purposes to understand how the car behaves and, and the expectations from customers. We will have to have around 100 customers totally in the project. So we'll kind of add customers during the project. And uh, of course, it depends a bit on what we learn, the feedback we get from the customers. Uh, we'll do updates with software and also hardware. So together with Uber, we have a joint project to develop the base tech for a self-driving car, the redundant base system. Then on, on that we're hooking up our autonomous driving brain uh, where we have all the software developed. And the software is developed in a joint venture together with Autoliv called Senuity. And uh, the target we have is to have a commercial offer by 2021.